Well, just ahead of Remembrance Weekend, let's talk about young war veterans because the risk of suicide in veterans aged under 25 is up to four times higher than the general population. And 11 of those who served in recent military operations are likely to report alcohol problems. Well, the former pro the FORSA protocol, beg your pardon, is a new initiative aimed at improving police protocol when a veteran goes missing. Patron, actor and broadcaster Ross Kemp is supporting Claire Lilly. Now, Claire lost her veteran husband to suicide after he went missing. My um, former husband was a veteran, a PTSD war veteran, and he sadly took his own life in the lockdown of 2020. Um, there are various measures that can be put into place to prevent suicides, particularly within the veteran sector, from happening. My key message would be that due to the fragmented nature of the veteran welfare landscape, it's imperative that there's a multi-sector approach. Yeah. So the most important thing when anyone goes missing is time yeah. and understanding the profile of that person. So the FORSA protocol is something that Claire has come up with to make sure that the officers that are trying to find someone who's been a, is a veteran or has served in our armed forces, has been part of the armed forces community, that they know that that person is a veteran or has served. And they can have an idea of what medication they may be on what personal issues they might have right now, whether they're, they're using alcohol, whether they're using drugs, all things that can help the officers help locate that person as fast as possible. But that information isn't going to be held by the police because it's very sensitive information. It's going to be held by a company called Safe and Found online, and that can be accessed through the use of a code by the police only once that person has gone actually missing. There's a lot out there that can, that can help a veteran, breath work, diet, exercise, all these kind of, there's lots of alternative. A talking is a good thing, but not this incessant talking and communication because that reignites the trauma. So therefore, the services need to pass that information over for them on their behalf so that they don't have to keep recounting that trauma. I think there's a big issue. Um, I'm a civilian. I work sometimes with the services. I think there is still a lack of understanding amongst us, the public, as to what a lot of service personnel go through, both male, both male and female. And I think creating a better understanding is one of the major things, particularly at this time of year. It's the only time, really, that we remember the members of our armed forces, the sacrifices that are making currently, and the sacrifices that they have made in the past. But, but also, you've got to bear in mind that we're losing. Uh, one veteran a week to suicide and that quite simply is unacceptable. Well we'd like them to help push the force of protocol, a protocol that helps the police recognise that when someone goes missing and they're a veteran, that they are a veteran quite yeah. simply ask and the all question. the complex issues that come with that. Yeah. Please ask the question and also we'd like to see this rolled out nationally, it's only being rolled out presently by Greater Manchester Police, we'd like to see this adopted at a national level. Yeah, yeah. Personally but with the sector of veterans that actually go missing or contemplate taking their own life, they're often the forgotten tragedy, um, forgotten people, kind of people, yeah, that's, element that's of war, you know, because as we said, when the guns go silent, the battle begins. I think there is still a massive issue with post-traumatic stress disorder. It can manifest its, yeah. itself anyway. at any point after service or even during it. I think... We still, there's still a lot to be done to start understanding that and the impact it not only has on that individual but on the, the family, family. Me, the family members around that and I think, you know I would urge people to buy a poppy or, or to support a military charity if the Royal British Legion isn't the one that you choose, particularly at this time, because this is a time, we only do it for two weeks in the whole year, when we remember the sacrifices of others that have allowed us to have the liberty and live in the democracy that we do.